Hello and welcome to episode 11 of Down That Aisle. And this week, it's kind of a surprise episode for myself even because... Um, so after my fiancé passed, <clears throat> it took me quite a while to get back into wrestling. I mean, just to watch it again. I, I mean, I had been watching faithfully everything. And then when she passed just wasn't in the mood to watch wrestling it took me a while to even care about it then i slowly started getting back into it started watching just the pay-per-views wwe pay-per-views then i started watching a couple raws here and there then then when cody rhodes came back that's when i really started getting back into it and then the the bloodline angle so then i started and then i started watching uh smackdown a little bit started getting back into nxt and then with collision coming on i was like all right let me give aaw let me start watching that again and so when i did put on aew i immediately fell in love with a theme and i was like you know what ah this is gonna be on an episode and so the theme is for the gun club and i just i absolutely love this theme um number one i think it's so cool that when i put on and see them wrestling like they wrestled the Hardy Boys. It's got to be cool to wrestle guys that your dad wrestled against, you know? And um, so their theme, though, is really like I definitely pick up the the Western. It starts off kind of Western-y sounding and then almost like an 80s synth Western. Like if if you can understand what I'm saying, like it, I can I can feel the Western in it and I can feel the synth and it, it, it just has an awesome an awesome uh, vibe to it you know and their entrance coupled with the theme is really cool and so I just I just wanted to talk about it <clears throat> um, I don't know if anyone out there also even cares because I know a lot of people don't watch AEW or um, the gun club isn't exactly the biggest stars but I really think they're young up and coming talent and uh, they recently did just join the Bullet Club which you know when that happened um, very I, I got very much a vibe a, a, I don't want to keep using the same words I keep saying vibe but I very much picked up the same feel of around when the, the Outlaws the New Age Outlaws and DX were teaming up and they weren't exactly New Age Outlaws, weren't exactly DX yet. Shawn Michaels and Triple H were teaming up with them. And it wasn't until Shawn had left after losing to Stone Cold. And the next night, uh, New Age Outlaws officially joined up. But, yeah, when they when the, the gun club was teaming up with the Bullet Club. And, you know what? It just, I don't know. It, it just makes, it sounds natural. The gun club, the Bullet Club. They're the guns. So, why not? You know, and... Um, uh, the Bullet Club, I guess, we'll, I mean, I'll touch upon that at another episode when, when we get into, maybe when I play the Bullet Club theme, but um, the Bullet Club is its, its, you know, its own thing to talk about. So, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this theme because it's something that, it's, it, it's, it just, it's one that I immediately just was struck by. Um, yeah, so I'd love to know what you guys think. Uh, does anyone else like this theme? Do you pick up? I'm curious if you pick up the same, the same tone I'm picking up. The you, you really feel the western, the westerny cowboy, and but but in the '80s synth. I, I'm just curious if if other people can pick that up too. So uh, yeah, let me know. You know, let me know in the comments. I'd love to love to hear it or see it, read it, whatever. <laughs> All right, thanks.